The producers and distributors of Tech AV Technical Training Aids welcome you to another module in the basic Hydraulic Systems Maintenance Series. This is program number two, in which we shall be discussing and demonstrating basic maintenance procedures, including the correct and safe handling of hydraulic oil, service procedures around the reservoir, oil level checks and topping up, replacing of strainers and filters, and general maintenance. Your understanding of these fundamental maintenance topics will serve as a foundation for your advancement in the field of hydraulic systems maintenance. Let us begin with the subject of hydraulic oil. Hydraulic oil has four main purposes, namely to act as the power transmitting medium, to lubricate moving parts, to seal small clearances between parts, and to remove heat from the system. Hydraulic oil must not be confused with other oils, such as engine oil. It is very important that we don't accidentally confuse or mix one type with another within a system. Manufacturers of hydraulic systems will usually specify the type and grade of oil to be used in their equipment. Always check this specification before you attempt to replenish or change the oil. Oil may be packaged in 210 litre drums or in 20 litre drums. The manufacturer's label on the packaging will provide details of the oil such as viscosity and grade. Hydraulic oil has a low viscosity, which means that it is normally thin or runny. You will need to ask your supervisor to explain the specific viscosity rating, the grade and the make of oil used by your company on various machines. The most important maintenance point about oil is that you keep it clean. All hydraulic systems can be seriously damaged by dirty or contaminated oil. It is recommended that, before working with oil, you apply a barrier cream to your hands. Oil containers must be kept clean and stored under cover to protect from the weather. Before opening a drum or a carton, always clean the top and the area around the bung to prevent dirt and water entering the oil. After you have taken out the oil that you need, Replace the bung or the cap firmly to prevent dirt and moisture entering the remaining oil. When using filler jugs and funnels, it is important that these are perfectly clean before you pour oil into or through them. The preferred method for decanting oil is with a drum pump. Featured here on this 210 litre drum is a typical pump which, as we see, also incorporates a filter. The filter in this example is rated at 30 microns, which will prevent any harmful particles entering the tank. A further feature of this filter is that it will absorb moisture from the oil as it flows through it. It should be kept in mind that 210 litre drums are heavy when full of oil. The use of a drum trolley makes the task of moving drums around the factory floor both safe and easy. Now let us discuss oil level. This is checked by observing the level indicator. To check the level properly, linear actuators such as single acting cylinders must be in their retracted positions and the machine must be stopped that is to say, not operating. Provided that oil shows above the minimum mark, or red line, and below the top edge of the indicator, then the system has sufficient oil. In this example, the system's oil level is on the borderline and ideally should be topped up. Before you top up oil levels, remember the following. Dust tends to accumulate around breathers. This is a normal situation. However, 
it is important that before removing the filler cap, you wipe the cap clean, as well as the area around the cap. Dirt will fall inside the tank if you don't do this. Oil is added using the clean and appropriate equipment. When the oil level is at the desired mark on the level indicator, the cap is immediately replaced to prevent dirt or dust entering the tank. Let us review the important points we have covered. Before attempting to add or change oil in any system, always check what type, grade and make of oil the system uses. Always make sure that you work as cleanly as possible. Dirt is a major enemy of a hydraulic system. Do everything possible to avoid letting it into a tank. Check the oil level only when all cylinders are in their retracted positions or you will run the risk of overfilling the system. Always clean the filler cap and surrounding area before removing the filler cap. Replace the cap as soon as you have finished topping the oil to prevent dirt entering the tank. After the break, we shall look at the servicing of filters and strainers.